Hey, I want to talk to you today how small little nuances can make a huge difference in your acrylic portraits. I am Matt Filio. I'm working on this 24 by 30 acrylic portrait with 30 people in it. And right now I'm going to be putting in some little details on the facial features. Um, so this is the reference photo I'm working from. See all these people here, lots of people to paint. But I want to show you how just adding a couple little nuances makes a difference. On my palette, I've got some raw umber dark, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, a little bit of burnt sienna. And I'm just adding a couple little dabs here. You can see how small the face is just to show the pupils. So when we put in these little nuances, all of a sudden it, it starts looking like there's eyes in the portrait. All right, so I'm going to put in a couple little dabs right here to show the eyes on this baby. See, just in the right spot. All of a sudden, it looks like we have some eyes going on. Let's put some eyes here in this dad. You can see his face in the reference photo. Now let's go ahead and just drop some eyes in here. Sometimes you have to dab it a little bit if it's just a little strong but you can see how that's beginning to make it look like he's actually got some eyes. And we can do that on this woman right here. We'll just put in a little bit of a dark area just to the left. Now, because she's looking toward the right three quarters angle, we gotta put those eyes in on the left-hand side. Just a couple little dabs. Now we're gonna Put them in on this young man here. Just darken these spots a little bit. Again, just dab it a little bit to soften it up. And we just work our way down. Put in a couple of dabs on her eyes right in the middle. Get them a little bit darker. And you can see how they can work all the way across. This guy in the back, he's kind of looking upward. We do need to get his eyes in there though. Just put them in right in the middle. There we go. And now on this side, let's work on that uh, lady here, this lady in advanced years. And we'll just add a little dab right there in the middle. And at this stage, it doesn't matter so much what their eye color is. You just wanna use a nice brownish tint that works with the skin tones. They're really too far away to differentiate the color. I might add a little dab to it, but it gives you an idea of what you can do to uh, get these nuances, how they make a big difference in your portrait. Um, but let's continue on. I want to give you a little more value here in this video. And we're going to use the same color and we're going to darken some of the shadows in a few key areas. So for example, right here on the hair, just darken that a little bit. We can thin this glaze out. We're using the acrylic glazing technique, and uh, that's where we use many, many thin layers of acrylic paint mixed with a clear medium. There's that clear medium, and that gives you a sense of luminosity and depth. You can blend on top of your layers, and you can see right through it, which makes it great for um, having detailed sketches and not losing the likeness of your sketch. You add a little bit of a dark area right here on his hair, you see, and then that builds up a little shading. Dark area right there on the bottom. Uh, we can just kind of continue this on. We add a dark area right here to this young man's hair. You see, and then a couple spots there. And these little nuances make a big difference, especially when you're looking at such a small area to paint. I mean, 30 people on a 24 by 30, the faces get pretty small. They're just maybe an inch and a half tall. So they're, they don't take up a lot of room. And we just continue to darken in and add some more glazes. Just add a little bit of a shadow right down here. Okay. So I just want to show you this in this uh, brief video, how you can use this to your effect uh, in capturing some excellent realism. 
Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. And uh, I look forward to sharing you more videos in the future. Realisticacrylic.com. I have several tips, tutorials, free videos, and courses there. Check that out. You can also find the link in the description of the video and in the uh, top comment. All right. Thanks so much. God bless. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.